Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the Betaflight F7 AV1 flight controller from FPV model. The flight controller comes inside a bag within a bag, so let's quickly open it up. And as you can see, we only get in the flight controller itself, we're not getting any accessories, so this is all you're getting when you buy this flight controller. This flight controller is priced at $60, so it's on the expensive side, so let's go over its features and see what it has to offer. The first thing you notice about this board is the floating gyro on top. It actually has two gyros, one is built to the board and the other one is connected through this flat connector, which you can also disassemble if you want. There are also four screws on the bottom that hold this unit on top. For the CLI, you can choose which gyro you want to use. The one on top supports 32 kHz and it uses the ICM 2060OA chip and the built-in board using the MPU 6000 chip. Now in addition we can see that every mount has this rubber damper which is good, it's going to help to reduce the vibrations. I really wish that FEV model chose to include spare ones but they didn't. Now let's go over the layout of the board. Of course it uses the classic Betaflight Moto layout, so on each side we can find the ground, the battery, on the center we can find the Moto signal, so over here we can find Moto signal 1, Moto signal 2, 3 and 4. And finally it also supports ESC telemetry, so next to each ESC we can also find a telemetry pad over here, over here, over here, and finally over here. On the bottom part over here we can find the connectors for the VTX, over here we can find the smart audio pad, then the ground, then the VTX pad which is determined by bridging these pads, I'm going to get to it in a second, and over here we have the video out pad. On the right side we have the RX2 pad, then the TX2 pad, which is described as the smart output pad, then the SBUS, plus 5 volts, ground, 3.3 volts output, and TX and RX3 pads. Over here we can find these three pads that are going to determine the voltage that the VTX and the camera are going to get. Over here we have the VBAT pad, then the camera pad, and over here the plus 5 volts pad. If you're going to bridge these two pads, it means that the camera and the VTX are going to get the voltage of your battery. And if you're going to bridge these two pads, it means they're only going to get plus 5 volts. If you're going to use a VTX that uses high power, like for example the TBS Unify Pro, it's recommended to use the VBAT and do not bridge the plus 5 volts and the camera. If your camera does not support 4S, so just wire it up to the plus 5 volts over here. Otherwise your VTX is just not going to get enough power. Moving on to the top, over here we have the camera pads. The right pad is the camera control pad, which will enable you to simulate the always the controller of the camera and then configure the settings of the camera that you're going to use. Then the ground, the camera voltage, which again is going to get either plus 5 volts or the voltage of your battery. And over here we can find the video in pad. On the left side of the board we can find the micro USB connector and over here the boot button which looks pretty solid and next to it we can also find two LED indicators. Moving on to the bottom of the board, over here we can find the battery plus and ground pads and it's really nice that they are pretty far from each other so it's going to reduce the risk of shorting the board which is great. And on the right side we can find the connectors for the buzzer and for the LED board. Over here we can find the buzz minus, the ground, the LED signal, and plus 5 volt and ground pads. Now in case you're wondering, you can use this board with batteries between 3 to 6 cells. The maximum supported current is 160 amperes, and if you're using the 5 volts, you can use peripherals that consume up to 1.2 amperes. Now FPV model tells you when you get this flight controller to calibrate it. So now I'm going to connect it to beta flight. Let's see what version it's running. So hit dump and you can see it's running Betaflight 3.3.0 and the board is flashed with Betaflight F7 not surprisingly let's see what is the default gyro so as you can see it uses the onboard gyro if you want to set it up to use the external gyro you will have to write this command set gyro to use equals 1 and hit save and now it's going to use the external gyro that supports 32 kilohertz. So basically what uh, FEMODEL are asking you is to, upon receiving your flight controller, please connect to USB and calibrate before continuing to build and solder to it. I'm not sure why you can just not calibrate the board when it's already connected, but they ask you nicely, so let's do it. So whenever you get it, just place it on an even surface, 
hit calibrate. I don't see any reason not to do it after you finish building your quadcopter, but maybe there's a reason. So just calibrate the accelerometer as soon as you get this board. If you have any explanation for that, please tell me in the comment section down below. I would love to hear it. Now in terms of measurements, the weight of this flight controller is 11.57 grams. The distance between the mountain holes is about 28.2 millimeters, so it's going to fit the standard 30.5 millimeters. You're not going to have a problem with that. And the outer measurements are about 36 millimeters by 36 millimeters. And the height of the stack, if you include the external gyro, is about 8.2 millimeters. The next thing I'm going to do is to give this board to a friend of mine who is going to use it on one of his builds. I asked him to take photos and he's also going to send me the flight footage using this board. So I hope you will enjoy his flight. As always, if you have any questions about this board, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.